Now let's spend a minute thinking about what logic is or what logical thinking is. And logic itself, as you can see right on the top of the slide, is the study of reasoning. But it's just not any old study of reasoning because certainly in many disciplines other than philosophy do we study reasoning. Good example of that, psychologists study reasoning. Right, so people who do study the brain, uh, neuroscientists study reasoning, philosophers also study reasoning. So we've got to figure out what the difference is in the way that these different areas, these different groups of people approach reasoning. And I think one way of thinking about it is that logical thinking, or what's com commonly called informal logic, it's a branch of philosophy devoted to the study of reasoning. Now, this might be your first philosophy course, so that might not help you a whole lot, but it'll give you an idea, it'll begin to give you an idea of at least what we're studying. We're studying reasoning from a philosophical perspective, and we're going to have to figure out how that's different from a scientific perspective. And when we're talking about reasoning from the philosophical perspective, we're talking about reasoning as consisting of what we call logical relations. And if you think about it, one chief logical relations, one of the most pr prominent that we're looking at of a logical rel relation is inference or argument. Think of the examples that we've gone through you know, at the beginning of this set of videos. That is, we looked at, hey, if we grant the guy his assumptions, does that lead him to the point that he's getting to? So notice we're talking about an inference. Is it, can we infer those conclusions from the man's assumptions? And we can think about it a little bit more clearly by saying in an inference or argument the thinker entertains one or more beliefs as reasons that support another belief so notice the person makes assumption or he has beliefs that he assumes are true and he provides them as reasons for supporting another belief now that's a little bit different than what we do in psychology that is in psychology we're not concerned whether, in fact, the person's beliefs support another person's beliefs, but we're worried about how people actually do, what inferences they do make. Sometimes they're completely wrong inferences. Here we're worried about, are the inferences good? And we'll see the reason we are worried about this has to do with the goals of logical thinking or informal logic. And we really have two major goals. Goal number one, ooh, excuse me, went back to the, goal number one is that we want to, and we actually can divide this in two, notice there's an and there, it's to have true beliefs and avoid false ones. So it's kind of a complex goal. Number one, to have true beliefs. It's easy to have true beliefs. If we believe in everything that we can think about, we're going to have true beliefs. But the, it's the second condition, but we also want to avoid false ones, so we only want to add new true beliefs. So that's the goal that informal logic or logical thinking is getting us. So the idea is that we're going to Oh, we have a bunch of beliefs and we're going to sort of speak we're going to sort of upgrade them to acquire new true beliefs and avoiding false ones so the idea is we want to try to leverage what we know and see what we can conclude from that